Hey everybody, we're back for another Way Back Wednesday. We've had Wayne Hunt give you guys a lot of background and history about the college, and I'm joined now with Beecher Hyde. He is a Boaz legend. If if Wayne is our, our Boaz historian, then Beecher is definitely <laughs> our Boaz legend. <laughs> you probably heard him for years on WBSA and seen him around. I know when our cafeteria is open, I, I would see him nearly every day over at the cafeteria. Um, you're just so well known and well loved in our area and so um, being an alumni of Snead way back in the 50s we thought it would be cool to have him come and tell you a little bit about what his experience was like as a student at Snead. Thank you. Now first of all thank you for put, having me on this program. You can't imagine the difference in this building. I got to say this first about this building. You can't imagine the difference in this building then and now. 66 years ago until now. This is a magnificent building. Mm -hmm. It is uh, up to date, uh, state of the art, you might say, in every respect. And I'm amazed at the memorabilia from Snake College alumni in this building. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. And if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Now then, in the day of 55, year of 55, which is 66 years ago today, this month, I was here at Snead College. It was supported by the Methodist Conference. Uh, we had a lot of veterans here come out of the uh, Korean War, and we got a, let's see, our tuition was $120 a month. That's your books and tuition, uh, and I got to stay in the dormitory. That's $120 a month, a month. In order to eat at the cafeteria, which the dietitian, one of Peggy Bryan Jenkins, she was from Susan Moore, she was the head of the uh, cafeteria. In order to eat in the cafeteria, uh, I had a workshop. We had to clean four rooms, sweep them, rearrange the chairs every day, and that was for my meals. Uh, there's no air conditioning in this building then. We had uh, all the teachers were too old to teach in a state-supported school, but they could teach us need. Uh, some of the teachers, and I'll mention one, Granny Gray, the math teacher, she tutored students at the University of Alabama. She graded papers for some of the students. She worked problems for the students. She'd make a mistake along, which they would too, and didn't work them perfect, but she made extra money by doing such. Um, as Wayne said before, life here was different then. Uh, we had one foreign student, his name was Kim. He was the first foreign student here, as I remember. Mm -hmm. um, he was very adept at ping pong, table tennis. Nobody could handle him, but we had two students that could, Lloyd Worthy and Bill Burdett. Those two boys could give him competition. Uh, he was, he had a great personality, uh, Dr. Uh, well, Avis Lambert, James Avis Lambert and I uh, used to eat dinner with him most every day at the cafeteria. But uh, we had, uh, let's see, Ms. Maud Spencer, uh, Ms. Maud, uh, uh, Barton, Bill Barton, Bar 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 Bill Barton's wife, Maud Barton, yeah. and uh, the speech teacher was Miss Olivia Privet. Uh, Granny Gray was a math teacher. Um, I can't think of the literature teacher's name all of a sudden, but that's been 66 years ago. <laughs> uh, the lady upstairs in the home ec department was a great lady. Every time I look at a stove with a watch on it, I think of her. Mm -hmm. She said, people buy a stove with this clock on it and don't ever use it. She said, you pay extra for it, but you don't ever use it. I think that a lot because of what she said. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I took, I was the only man that took a first year cooking course in Sneak College and made a B on it. <laughs> made a B. <laughs> and to me, that's a big B. <laughs> uh, let's see. It was in the year of 66 years ago, 55, the year I started in radio. That was while I was here at Snake College. 
the day I was announced a winner, I was in math class at Granny's, and I asked her, I said, uh, can I go to the dormitory and see who won that contest? She said, sure, go ahead. So I went to the dormitory and heard my announcement that I had won that, that uh, DJ contest, working here at Sneed. Wow. Uh, most everybody had a work shift in order to eat. Yeah. And that's something that you don't hear of today. Right. But life here on Sneed was enjoyable. Uh, the teachers were great. They were tough, but they were good. Uh, you just love them. And I cherish the years here that I had and the time I spent here at Sneed College. Great. And thank you for having yes, me. Yes, thank you for coming in and sharing that. <laughs> and thank you guys for tuning in to all of our videos today. I hope that you learned a lot and learned a little bit of what life was like back 100 years ago and how far we've come since then. And thank you for being part of our Alumni Days this week.